What's going on YouTube? It's Dan. It's Ken. It's Dan and Ken PT. And today, we're going to talk about the rotator cuff. So what is the rotator cuff? Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about it. Is it just one thing? Is it like a band or what is it? So basically it's four little muscles that form the infrastructure of the shoulder joint. And we're going to show you some uh, basic anatomy of it right now. So in this view of, on, on the left side, you have the back of the right shoulder. You can see the supraspinatus muscle at the top. Then you have the infraspinatus and the teres minor. On the right side of this picture, you can see the front view of the right, right shoulder and then you have the fourth and last muscle, the subscapularis muscle. Okay guys, we drew these muscles on Dan so you could get a better look at them. Let's look at the muscles individually. As you can see here in red, that's your supraspinatus muscle. And Dan, go ahead and show us what that muscle does. Yeah, scaption or elevation in the uh, scapular plane here. Great. Now, the other two muscles, purple and green, infraspinatus and teres minor, they do external rotation. Go ahead, Dan. Good. The fourth and final muscle is on the front of the shoulder, the subscapularis. As you can see here in blue, that's your subscapularis. Obviously, it's way deep in there. It's not superficial. So, Dan, go ahead and show us what that does, that muscle. Good. Internal rotation is what that muscle does. Now let's talk about the rotator cuff as a whole. Guys, let me give you a quick acronym to remember the rotator cuff muscles just for your own interest if you have any. They're called the SITS muscles, S-I-T-S. The SITS muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Dan, let's talk about the role of the rotator cuff as a whole. So as a whole, they work together to give your shoulders stability, fine tuning the motions of the shoulder. So think of it as the suspension for your car. So if you're driving down a bumpy road and you've got poor suspension, you're gonna be bouncing all over the place. You're gonna put wear and tear on other parts of your car and later down the road, those parts will get damaged. They'll need to be repaired. If you have good suspension on your car, you know, you got strong rotator cuff muscles it's going to keep everything in place. You're driving down that bumpy road and you're going to be going nice and smooth, not bouncing on around the whole place. So yeah, controlled motion, right? That's great. I like that analogy. Now, as a whole, another uh, important job that they do, those sits muscles, is they keep that shoulder or your humerus, your funny bone, they keep it depressed they prevent it from going too high or elevating too high. Because if you, if you have your humerus and it goes too high, you can get shoulder impingement, which we talked about in our last video. So those rotator cuff muscles, if you keep them strong, it keeps the shoulder depressed and prevents shoulder impingement. And we also covered uh, a few exercises you could do to prevent impingement in our last video as well. Um, what do we think, Dan? Uh, do we have other comments? Do you have anything else about the rotator cuff? Yeah, we just wanted to give you guys a quick video on what the rotator cuff is and its anatomy and what its job is as a whole. Guys, we hope you liked the video. If you did, give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have questions or suggestions, please email us at danandkenpt at gmail.com. And remember, live, laugh, love.